All right, so you guys are not going to be able to guess what this bag is. I don't even think I've ever talked about it on my channel. I just want to get you on my grid sometimes on my grid. Hi everyone, Saki here and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I have a little unboxing and this is a totally random like impulse purchase. I know that I've been doing these lately, but okay. So a couple of things are going on. One, my style is starting to change up a little bit. I feel like I, I mean, my style is always forever changing. I mean, if you guys have watched my channel for years, you will know that the way that my style started off on this channel is totally not the way that I dress now. I keep like gradually, I don't know, evolving, I guess. And I feel like I'm in like another phase of like my style evolution as corny as that sounds. So there's that. And then there's also the fact that I am now like realizing what bags like will work for me with the baby and bags that won't work for me with the baby. And there are just some bags in my collection that I cannot use <laughs> when I'm with Killian. So I have just been rotating the same like maybe four bags over and over and over and I'm kind of getting tired of them. If you guys want to know what bags I'm using the most lately, um, please go check out my like mom bags video I made maybe a month ago. So yeah, that is basically um, two of the reasons why I've just been feeling a little bit bored with my collection. I'm gonna move this. It's a little bit distracting. This was from my Hermes haul a few weeks ago. I kind of already had like one recent impulse purchase and that was my Louis Vuitton Sperone BB backpack. But it was also because um, this bag was on sale and I thought it was at a really good price. And the reason why I'm telling you this is because I did it again. <laughs> I got another bag and um, I think it's a really, really good price and it's a bag that I've always been really curious about. So once it like super, super went on sale, I just decided to grab it and I knew, you know, if I ended up not liking it, I could return it. And spoiler alert, I did already look at it and I absolutely love it. So the bag that I'm unboxing is actually from Fashion File. I um, haven't bought from Fashion File in a little while. My LV backpack was also secondhand, but that was from Rebag. So um, this is the fashion file box that it came with. And unfortunately, the bag didn't come with any of the original packaging. So there is just a fashion file dust bag. And then um, if you guys don't know, fashion file also likes to include a nail file. I find these extremely useful, especially with my um, you know, extensions. All right, so you guys are not gonna be able to guess what this bag is. I don't even think I've ever talked about it on my channel. I have, like I said, um, like looked at this bag before and was curious about it before because I've always um, like speculated that it was a really good shade of pink, but I'd never seen it in person. And now that I have it here with me, I can honestly say that this bag is so cute and is the perfect shade of pink. I shouldn't have rambled so much. I should just show you the bag. All right, so here I have to unbox for you my new Chloe Faye backpack. Okay. <laughs> Isn't this shade of pink absolutely perfect? I mean, I'm trying to like figure out what it compares to. It's pretty close to my Chanel Square Mini. So, my style has gotten a little bit edgier lately. If you've been following me on Instagram or TikTok and you've seen like, you know, my style videos or reels or whatever that people are calling them, you will have noticed that my style is slightly edgier. And a lot of the fashion inspo that I've been looking at, people are carrying Chloe bags and I've always like been an admirer of Chloe. I unboxed a Chloe bag on my channel that was my mom's, I think maybe a year ago now. And I really like that bag, especially on her. I just, I'm not a super huge fan of the color because obviously it wasn't pink so yeah i've seen this backpack before i wasn't sure if it was going to be like the perfect shade of pink and also i was really afraid of like how small it was but the one thing that i've always like been curious about is the fact that it is a backpack but also it comes with a like shoulder bag strap which you guys know is one of like my favorite things in this whole world when it comes to bags I just love a bag that can do many things. So I feel like because this one has a shoulder strap, 
and you can carry it as a backpack during the daytime but if you go out in the evening like to a bar or something you can easily just carry it as a shoulder bag now the one thing that i will have to say like aesthetically right off the bat that i don't like 100 love is maybe this like um suede like natural leather exposed part and it's only because i feel like it gets dirty really easily there's already like a little bit of um like grime or like dirt on the very edges you can barely tell though and i don't think it looks terrible but i feel like since it's already on that bag i will probably make it worse um as i'm using it and then it's also like not like the same color as this you know shade of pink either so i don't know if that's gonna bother me but i think i'm gonna style it with a few outfits and you know put my stuff in it and really see if that's gonna you know deter me from keeping it if you guys don't know fashion file does have a return policy i'm not sure if it's two weeks or 30 days um but basically you just make sure you don't remove this tag that comes with it and then you can just ship it back if you don't want it um another thing that i never noticed is that the hardware on here is both a mixture of gold and silver, which I didn't like before, but now that I've had like my Chanel 19 bag and now that I do wear a little bit more silver, I think it's really cool when you mix gold and silver together. All right, I feel like I rambled on forever. Let me show you the bag real quick. So um, yeah, it just looks like this in the front. This shoulder bag strap can come off and then it does have two straps in the back. You can also take the backpack straps off if you want to as well, and they are adjustable. So the only wear that I can see like on the outside of the bag is that there is a little bit of like, I don't know, black on the leather bits right here. I feel like it's probably from the rubbing of the hardware because I do um, see this like little black mark on like near hardware a lot in my bags and then of course in the front I already told you guys there is a little bit of dirt right here and then on the bottom there is a little bit of corner wear but it looks like I might be able to just give that a good clean and that might come off the bag is made of, of calf skin and, and other than those little few marks that I think I could you know kind of clean up a little bit it looks really good on the outside so to open the bag, you just open it like this. You don't actually have to unhook this chain from the ring. By the way, I love this ring detail. I think it's what makes the bag look super edgy. And I love how it looks like it's wearing like one of those old school like wallet um, chain strap things. I don't know. I just really like that look. So one part that I think is really cool is these zippers. So if you need a little bit more room in the bag, you can just unzip them and then the bag expands a little bit. Not much. I still do think that this is definitely a mini backpack, but I feel like you can get away with carrying a few more things if you, you know, unzip the zipper. Inside of the bag, there's only one little slip pocket and then the rest is just um, like the main compartment. I don't think that I can hold as much as my Louis Vuitton backpack. I mean, definitely not as much. Look at the size difference between these. But do you think that because it's a backpack style, I will be able to get away with carrying pretty much everything I need. And I can probably throw like a spare diaper in here as well for Killian. But I'm going to test it out and I will update you guys. Um, I'm going to do a recent purchases update soon with everything that I've unboxed on my channel lately. So if you do have any questions about any of my recent purchases, please leave them either in this video or when you're watching the unboxings, leave them for me then because I will answer it um, in my video. All right, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Like in terms of the details for this bag, I think it's in really good condition. The inside is immaculate. Normally with um, pre-owned bags, the inside can get a little bit dirty, but this one is completely clean. I don't know if you can tell. So that is really awesome. Now the price. <laughs> so one of the reasons, like I said, that I jumped and bought this is because this was discounted so much. I paid like $500 after everything, after tax, after um, shipping and everything. So it is a pretty heavy discount. I'm actually not sure what that bag costs brand new, but let me look it up real fast. 
wow that took me forever to find because this bag is discontinued but i found a website that listed the price of the chloe mini Faye backpack at 1490 dollars and this was back in 2018 so if they did continue to sell it after 2018 it would have been that price or a little bit more i'm not sure how much chloe raises their prices so yeah that is about a thousand dollars off like i was saying earlier i'm kind of getting a little bit not sick of but um, my collection has a lot of classic so when i do get the opportunity to add more of like a fun bag into my collection um at a really great price um, I just think that it is a great opportunity to just try something new. So yeah, that was everything that I could think of this bag. Let me know what you guys think of it. I do have um, at least a couple of weeks to decide on it. So let me know if you think that I should keep it or return it. But I think once I do style it with a couple of my outfits, um, you guys will agree that I should keep it. But let me know your honest thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Bye! I don't know why I'm still holding this bag. My arm hurts so bad right now because I've literally been holding this bag up for like 10 minutes straight. <laughs>